Greetings, Zeus. We are here with some more Fire Emblem Fates Birthright. Oh, really? Okay, I'll invite over, um, Setsuna. I was hoping we would get Mr. Birthright to be able to come over because we finally got him in the last episode. Oh my goodness, I can't wait. Uh, I didn't fall into a single trap on the way here. Well, that's good for you, Setsuna. You had to walk a whole 30 steps. I'm glad that there weren't any traps. This was fun. I'll come back again. <laughs> I love the way she talks. She's so funny. Look at that. It even looks like she's like walking away. Like <laughs> She's just like, this was fun. I just got here, but I'm already leaving. Also, I probably fell into a trap in your house, even though there's no traps set up here. I don't know. Thanks for stopping by. Yes, Mozu. I'm glad I didn't invite you over. Maybe I should have invited her over so I can scan the lottery. Uh, okay, I guess I didn't need to. Now give me a good weapon. Okay, that's trash. Why? Dude, silver's so freaking weird. You either get something mediocre or get something really good. But yeah, we unlocked Mr. Birthright in the last episode and Scarlet, which is going to be kind of cool. I still don't know if I'm going to use Scarlet yet, but here's the kind of their abilities. Um, yeah, hers is really good. Whenever she's low health, gets a lot of crit. Obviously, a Wevern Lord gives her um, plus two strength, gets lunge. Ryoma, super good. You already saw that. Um, however, when I was grinding, I did a little bit of grinding in between episodes. Felicia got Tome Breaker. So now, whenever she uses, like, um, anything, just like whenever she is going to make some mage, that will hardly ever hit her. That's so good. Felicia is one of the best res tanks in the entire game. Not just because her res is really good, but because they can't hit her. So it's like super, super good. So now I think we're going to do some supports. Um, I didn't actually grind up with Ryoma at all, so I didn't get any supports for him. Hopefully we'll get some at the end of today's episode. So here we go. Kagero and Orochi, a support. Um, I finished drawing that replacement fortune telling card, Orochi. Uh, finally, let's see it. I'm not, I'm not sure it's as good as the old one. Hmm, you drew that babbling brook like a rolling, boiling cauldron. And it's sweetly and, and it's sweetly swimming fish, like they're drowning in water. The colors aren't pretty either. Just look at those harsh lines and dark shadows. Perfection! It's the only way I see it's just the way I see things. You're the only one who's ever liked my drawings. Everyone else thinks they're creepy. Oh, that must be what was going on with Silas, I see. You've always understood me. Ah, uh, your bleak drawings are just what I need for my fortune cards. This one's even better than the one I lost. I'll never misplace this one. It's uh, it's my proof that our friendship will outlast the end of the world. You're a strange one, Orochi. You're stranger than I am. So get over here and uh, get a big hug, you weirdo. Maybe when I'm off duty, I'll still I'll, have, I'll still have a grim image uh, to uphold. I wish I could smile just like you, Orochi, but I just don't have it in me. I suppose I'll just have to carry your smile with me in life. I'll take it to my grave. Oh, stop! You're gonna make me blush with all your gushy talk. <laughs> I will to my grave. I swear it. Enough already, Kagero. It's like we used to talk when we were little. What merry fun! Your doom and gloom got me through my childhood with a smile on my face. Never change, Kagero. Promise, it'll always be you and I, right to the bitter end. Pinky swear? Pinky swear. To the end of time. Pinky swears are a thing in Fire Emblem? Okay. Um, so yeah, what's interesting about um, Fire Emblem Fates is there's actually A-plus supports. When you A-plus support somebody, they don't actually, um, it's not an actual conversation. All that happens is they gain access to go into the matching class of that person. So. Not like in Three Houses, where um, almost every character can go into every single thing. Um, there are things called seals, obviously. We have, um, let's see, I've, yeah, there's master seals. What master seals do, um, Kagero can become a master ninja or a, a mechanist. So there's always like two branching paths. Um, or we can use a heart seal, so it changes a unit's class based on personality. This one should have, um, yeah, so now that I can do that, I should be able to go to a diviner. Um, but here's the thing. There's also um, two other seals called Partner Seal and Friendship Seal, and you can already guess with partners, that's an S support. So because um, Heart Seal, she can go to a Diviner, it's not really that good for you to um, actually support Kagura with Orochi, because she already has that class unlocked, so there's no point. Um, you'd want to give her a plus with like somebody else, such as Setsuna, so she could go into the Archer class. Um, but if you wanted to pair her, like if you wanted to marry... Um, Kagero and Takami, then she would be able to go into the Archer class, so you wouldn't want to pair up with um, Setsuna, so then there's somebody else you want to pair up with. It's very complicated and, and like hard to explain, but yeah, that's just, that's kind of how A supports, um, or A supports works. So here we go, Orochi and Korin now. So yeah, not counting DLC classes, there should be um, only, I think, one, two, three possible other class, um, other classes that you can change into, not counting Master classes. Master classes have more branches, so there should be like eight, or in total, if you get everybody. Um, that's not counting DLC, though, so here we go. Uh, have a moment, Orochi. I live to serve, Lord Karin. Uh, I was wondering if you could tell me a little bit more about my mother, Lady Mikoto, a remarkable woman. I'd be more delighted, uh, I'd be delighted to share my memories of her. I barely had a chance to get to know my mother. So little time. Because of what I... <laughs> anyway, could you share some stories about her? 
Ah, uh, trust me when I say she wouldn't have blamed you for what happened. And she'd be sad if you blamed yourself, Lord Corrin. But yes, a story, a funny one, that's what we need. She seems so graceful. Ah, uh, you, know, uh, you know funny stories about her? Oh, uh, she was endlessly hilarious. One time, I recall her ke uh, I recall catching her swimming with her slippers on. She f uh, forget that she had two ch uh, two chopsticks in a hand and eat with four. Some uh, some might say she was absent-minded. Not I. She was a dreamer of dreams. So what if Lady Makota had her silly mishaps? We loved her for it. Uh, please go on. Uh, when she sat cross-legged for so long, her legs went to sleep. Okay, th I that happens to me too. Uh, and I am talking a deep sleep. She stood up before the court and careened right into a fountain. I wish I could have been there, or at least to help her out of the water. Your mother truly uh, was truly unique, like a wise sage and an accidental jester. She had the sweetest voice, but the things she would say... Honestly, that dear woman, she really was a hoot. Thanks, Orochi. That's exactly what I needed to hear right now. Oh, good old Corn and his mom. Now we have Reyna and Corn. I'm not going to be using Reyna too much on our main team anymore, but I want to see if I can get to, to A support, because there are characters in this game, which is kind of dumb, that they only have supports with Corn, which is really strange. Reyna is one of them. Um, another one, I believe, is also Scarlet. They can only support with Corrin, which is really weird. I don't know why characters are like that sometimes. It feel, it kind of makes me angry, because, like, they're supposed to be, I don't know, they're not really Jagans. I don't know. I don't get what the point of it is. They just didn't want to give them supports to anybody else, I guess. But anyway, here we go. Um, Lord Corrin, you have a strange look on your face. Oh, sorry. I guess I was just thinking this is so different from my image of you. Your image of me? Yeah, usually I think of you as fierce and blood, uh, bloodthirsty, like you are on the field. But after the fighting's over, you put on an apron and it's like you're, you're everyone's mom. Ah, uh, the change is so sudden, it's a little jarring sometimes. Ah, I see. It's true, I find no greater joy than in, li uh, in life than when I feel when I'm fighting. Some say I become battle crazed, and I can't say that they are wrong. But I still like to serve others in this way, too. Any particular reason? I am the daughter of some well-known magistrates in Hoshido. They never wanted this life for me. They wanted me to live a uh, peaceful, domestic one. I wasn't allowed to touch toy weapons, let, al uh, let alone real ones. So you lived a sheltered life then. I suppose you could put it that way, but I was quite the tomboy. One, uh, one of my flav uh, favorite pastimes was watching the soldiers practice. Sometimes when my parents were busy, I'd get them to let me come with them. It wasn't long until I was slaying faces with the best of them. I loved it. I believe it. You're a force to be, re <laughs> You're a force to be reckoned with, just like Forsyth. Uh, but when my parents found out about it, they sent me to serve in the castle. My parents gave me uh, gave this apron to me before I left, as a parting gift. They hoped I would learn to become a proper lady and forget about fighting. However, when I got to the castle, I told the Captain Guard I wanted to be a knight. I see. Oh no, I can't believe it's already this late. I need to start prepping dinner. My apologies, Lord Corrin. Perhaps we could uh, pick this up on, uh, some other time. Sure, I'd love to. I am Corrin, after all. It means I love everything and everyone loves me. Uh, Kaden Rinka, um, here we go, my favorite character. Hey, Rinka! What do you want? Whoa there, is something wrong? Maybe I can help. Back off, I'm fine. Don't you start acting all chummy with me. Uh, don't be like that. I never really met anyone from the Flame Tribe before, so I'm curious. You're not from Nor or Hoshido, so you must have had all kind of neat stories. Maybe so, but none that I plan on sharing. Now scram. <laughs> Just turning him like a freaking cat. Yeesh, I don't, I don't think I've ever met a grumpy pants uh, with pants as grumpy as yours. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, I know it'll cheer you up. Here. Is this candy? I don't want this. Yep, called an offering of friendship. I hope you like it. Well, anyways, I'll be off now. Have the best day ever, Rinka. Hey, wait a minute. I just said I didn't... <laughs> Dang it, he's gone. Uh, what am I supposed to do with this candy? Obviously eat it, because apparently you like it. Next up, sets and uncorn. I thought we already got these two C's apart, but whatever. Hmm, looks like it's about time to go check on those boar traps we put out. Oh boy, the traps. I wonder if we caught anything. What in the world? Setsuna? What are you doing in the boar trap? Hello, Lord, Co uh, Lord Corrin. Is this what this trap was for? Yes, how did you even... Never mind, I'll get you out. There, the cage door has been unlocked. You don't seem to be hurt, at least. Thank you for letting me out. Uh, why weren't you calling for help? The camp isn't all that far away from here. Next time this happens, just yell really loud and I'm sure someone will come running. Though, I guess that advice is moot. This sort of thing doesn't happen often. Uh, this happens to me daily, my lord. Excuse me? Yeah, I don't know what's up with her. She's weird. Traps and I are destined for each other. If I go hiking in the mountains, I will fall. I'll fall into traps left for the wildlife. Well, I always get hung up in fishing nets whenever I'm crossing rivers. I, fa I even fall into small holes that children dug in t uh, for fun in towns. Uh, I don't even know what to say to this. It's almost like you're a gimmick character. I suppose it's at least a reliable talent. 
Thank you very much. That really wasn't a compliment. Considering this happens so often, why don't you call for help? Oh, Lady Hinoka always uh, eventually finds me, so... My sister tracks you down each time you get caught in a trap? Yes, Lady Hinoka is very good about looking after her retainers. The way you say that, I can't help but picture a pet rather than another person. You think so? Hmm. Anyway, that's, oh, that's why I don't get too worried whenever I'm caught in a trap. I suppose that's one way, uh, one way for you two to bond. <laughs> Jeez, she's so dumb, dude. Oboro and Hinata, okay. Um, hey, Oboro, thanks for the haircut. It turned out great. Ah, uh, no need to thank me. I noticed your hair is getting shaggy, too. How about I return the favor and give you a trim? What? Don't be ridiculous. Keep your hands off my hair. No, it'll be fine. If I, it's not my own hair, I can see what I'm doing. That's not the problem. A woman's hair t uh, takes a special touch, not some happy-go-lucky oafs. Well, why not? I was gonna make you look cooler. Uh, what exactly is your idea of cooler? Besides, I like my hair a certain way. Oh yeah, you wear your hair like uh, your hair like that, so it looks like Lord Takami's, right? Yeah, they all have kind of like funny ponytail-looking things. All of them do. Takami, Hinata, and Oboro. Uh, yeah. As long as I serve Lord Takami, I want to emulate him in every way. I mean, that's what inspired your hairstyle too, right? <laughs> yep. I wear my hair like this so I can be as great as our master someday. Well, it's not doing much for you so far, I can tell you that. Lord Takami is way cooler than you. I know, jeez, you're so obsessed with him. <laughs> like you're one to talk. <laughs> We're getting a little overboard here, huh? How about, uh, how about instead we do some training so we can better serve Lord Takami? Uh, sounds good to me, but I want to see you cry when I win. <laughs> That's my line. Jeez, okay, my goodness. I love always, I love the retainer conversations. They're always really interesting. Mozu and Kaze. Here we go. Hmm? Mozu, what are you doing sitting alone all by the river? Um, oh, hey there, Kaze. I was just peeling and washing these potatoes. I see. In that case, would you mind if I helped you? Oh, no, that's okay. Really, this is my job. Nonsense. I have nothing better to do, and I'm really quite good at it, I promise. What? You are? I am. Here, just give me one of those. And one, two, three... Gosh, you're fast. It looks like he might even be better than me. Well, he does have shurikens, so I'm sure he knows how to handle a knife. Uh, I used to cook a lot. Strange as it sounds, it used to be part of my training regimen. Oddly enough, my master also had me paint fences and polish armor. Hol uh, household chores uh, have a prominent role in Hoshiden martial arts training. Is that like Karate Kid or something? I don't know. Um, I see. And here I was thinking I must be the best potato peeler in camp. To tell you the truth, it's a little disheartening to get what up like this. I see. Well, if you'd ever like my help, please don't hesitate to ask. I'll teach you everything I know about the preparation of root vegetables. You'd do that for me? Thanks, Kaze. I appreciate it. I hold you that, though, you hear? Yes, of course, but my name is pronounced Kaze. <laughs> Just walks away. <laughs> okay, Mozu Hinata. Um, now, why, uh, now why in the heck is it like that? Hey, Mozu, what's the matter? Ah, uh, Hinata, perfect. I was going to come find you. I have a question for you. Uh, glad to help. If I have the answer, I'll tell you whatever you need to know. Here, take a gander at this page. This is the logbook for food costs. When you're one to, uh, when you're the one to go buy supplies, oh wow, that's a pretty big number. Sure is, and you aren't even buying things that are uh, things all that expensive. That's strange. I'm usually going on to the going to the usual store, and I only buy what they suggest. Hang on now, who suggests these things to you? The store owner, of course. She's this really pretty lady who's always super helpful when I come in. She helps me find things I didn't even know the camp needed. Huh. <laughs> I'm guessing you buy all these things, no questions asked. Well, yeah. What a naive. Uh, what a naive. How often are pretty women able to trick? Uh, be able to trick you? Trick me? Oh no, she just wants to help me do what's best for the camp. There's no way she'd lie to me. That's a pretty bold thing to say about someone you hardly know. Anyway, was there actually anything wrong with the things I bought? Well, no, but see, no harm done, and my point still stands. I don't. <sighs> Okay, the price is still bad, though. Need to at least haggle a little. Haggle? Why do I need to haggle? What? You don't even know what ha or do you even know what haggling is? It means that you get the store to sell to you at a lower price. That's possible? I thought you had to buy something for the price listed. That settles it, then. I'll be coming with you the next time you go shopping. I'll teach you all my secrets to making the most of a trip. Oh, okay. That sounds cool. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, last one of the day, Kaze and Felicia. Or at least last one before we do the main chapter. La 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 li lule. <laughs> it's so lovely out. I bet the laundry will dry in no time. Let's see, I just have to hang up these sheets and I'll be finished. Eek! Where did that wind come from? No, please wait, Mr. Sheet! Ah! Oh! <laughs> Felicia, are you the owner of this sheet? Kaze, you caught it for me. Thank you so much. 
No need for thanks. I'm just glad I could be of service. Of course, you really helped me out there. Thanks to you, I might even finish all, I'll finish all my chores today without a single mistake. Is that rare? Er, maybe I shouldn't have said something, or maybe said anything, but yes, it is. I'm not a very good maid. I try to be a, I try not to be a burden, but I make a lot of mistakes. I see. Well, if that's the case, allow me to assist you now and then. Oh no, that's alright. I couldn't possibly impose on you like that. Now, now, we're allies. What kind of friend would I be if I didn't lend a hand? Well, when you put it that way, okay, I'd love to have your help. Perfect, let's hang up this laundry then. Uh, I already finished that, actually. Have you indeed? Well, if you find anything else I can uh, help with, please come and get me. You know where I'll be. Wow, he just vanished. I wish I could do that. But I don't know where he'll be. I guess I'll just have to work alone today. <laughs> it's like, you'll know where I'll be. Just poof, gone, instantly, never see it again. All right, let me see. I want to check out the, um, where is it? The smithy? No, actually, let's fit, let's cook something real fast. We've never cooked anything before. Wow. So here we go. I like to cook my food all the way through. My cooking was well, uh, well received back home. Okay, let's cook some fish. Yeah, it'll give us some bonus resistance, and oh, we can uh, cook two things. Let's do strength and resistance. So here we go. Uh, that sparks the fires of imagination. Wait here. Okay, I feel like if this chapter, however, we're not going to actually need Witness any. The strength of my tribe. Okay. You're toast. Extinguished. <laughs> what did you do to the food, Rinka? <laughs> what did you do to it? <laughs> Done. You should feel honored. I poured the fire of my passion into this. Um, okay, it's burnt. Oh, we got strength and speed plus one. Okay, that's cool. I'll do that. That's much better than the res. Oh, my. Uh, oh, my. This reminds me of my own cooking. Uh, <gasps> this is worse than the, bait, uh, than the bait and traps I always fall for. Wait, is this a trap? <laughs> this tastes like dirt. Is... Is it actually dirt? <laughs> what the heck? Uh, are you serious? What the heck? That's so st Rinka, you're so dumb. What happens if I try again? Oh, she okay. She what? Did she do it again? She said she went easy on the heat this time. Um, no, no. Oh my. No. Wait. Okay. At least there was a skill plus one boost. Okay. Wait. What? No. Not want the reduction. What the frick? Rika, you're so bad at cooking. No, I need to do it again. She keeps making it trash. I didn't know she was so bad. Oh my gosh, I need to like at least balance it out. Uh, yes. please, okay. please. Okay, it's good, it's just good. Yes, okay, there we go, that's fine. I'll take that. She, I didn't know you could get negative effects from meals because Rika keeps exploding the food. Jeez, you gotta stop doing that. Okay, sure, I'll forge you some weapons. I hope I don't blo uh, botch the job. Okay, so here's what we can do. I wanted to, um, Quartz has the Sunrise Katana because we actually got a few of these with the My Castle, so now I can forge one into Sunrise Katana plus one. So now the might goes from three to five. That means I do two more damage, which is kind of cool. I think that's the only thing I'm gonna fuse today, though. There's nothing else I really want to do. I just wanted to show that off real fast because that's kind of how the weapons work work since they don't break so here we go i think we're good to set off so here we are with chapter 14 corn and his group at last reconnect with ryoma and shiv reunited everyone pledges to combine their efforts and try to restore peace to the world all right it is time let's do this next chapter here i already know what to expect chapter 14 light scatters we got mr birthright he is finally on our side so i'm not gonna have to try on this chapter i mean i will but like this is literally mostly a ryoma solo chapter and i mean if i want it to be <laughs> and i'm going to make it like that oh my goodness ryoma's gonna reach level 20 like instantly dude we stand together yes indeed ryoma welcome to the sheaf underground this is where the resistance meets we should be safe here for the time being yes thank you ryoma I, I think I speak for everyone when I say this. We're so glad to have you back in command. We all missed you so much. I knew you'd be fine, but I'm still glad to have you back. Uh, now that we're all reunited, nothing can stop us. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. It's, it's great to see you all again. And I must apologize for making you all worry so much. To think of, uh, to think of all you've overcome to track me down. I've never been prouder to be your older brother. We Aw, so nice. Uh, so what's next? Now that we're all back together, it seems like anything is possible. Hey. Uh, I like the sound of that. So you all must be Ryoma's siblings, right? Yes. Ah, uh, yes. It seems introductions are in order. These are my younger brothers, Korn and Takumi. And then my sisters, Hinoka, Azura, and Sakura. Everyone, this is Scarlet. Hmm? Wait, those names are awfully familiar. Are you named after the Hoshiden royal family? That's right. Er, uh, you could say that. We are the Hoshiden royal family. <laughs> what? Uh, please forgive me, your highness. I had no idea you were THE Ryoma. <laughs> please, Scarlet. You may simply call me Lord Ryoma. I apologize for not revealing my true identity earlier, but it was necessary. I wanted to get a true feel for your group without my royalty muddying the waters. You needn't have worried. We have a, we have a common enemy, and many of, us, uh, many of us have strong ties to Hoshido. 
My own grandfather was one of the king's servants many years ago. What? Is that so? Yeah. Yes, I've always wanted to be a knight because of him. In fact, if it, uh, if it wouldn't be out of place, I'd really like to join your party. You ha have you seen what I can do in battle? What do you say? Thank you. Uh, I'd say it would be lucky to have you. Welcome aboard. Not a problem. Yes, thank you so much, Lord Ryama. All right. I, okay, two units in one chapter. Uh, Ryoma, can you tell us more about this? Uh, the resistance? Yes. Yes, the group here in Shiv is one of the most well organized. In the early stages of battle, I learned of this group and decided to investigate. I made my way to this region and joined the resistance under false pretenses. Of course, you must realize that there are uh, underground anti Hoshido groups as well. That's why it's important for us to have a presence in regions controlled by Nor, in case of, uh, the conflict spreads. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't recognize him. Oh well, I'm just glad we're all on the same side. All of us in Shiv, uh, all, the, all of us in the Shiv resistance simply wish to be freed of Nor's oppressive rule. Understood. Yes, it is important to remember that we're not just fighting for Hoshido. Garen's mania for conquest must not be allowed to claim one nation more. Oh. What? What was that? I thought this was a safe house. No. <gasps> it is. Nobody outside the resistance knows about, uh, knows about this place. Let's see what's going on. Um, okay, well, I already knew a battle was coming because it's a freaking main chapter, so what do we got now? Um, what's going on? What was that blast? Reporting. Milady, we're surrounded by Norian troops. Our men have engaged the enemy, but we're severely outnumbered. Oh. No! How do they know we were here? <sighs> we may still have a traitor among us. What are you suggesting? You saw what happened to Zola. Unbelievable. I don't know, Corrin. How else could have this, uh, how else could this have happened? I refuse to believe. Listen. No matter. We must evacuate immediately. There's a secret path nearby. Come, everyone! Uh, but what then? The path, uh, that path leads uh, right to Nor's doorstep. That's right. Indeed, and that is exactly where I intend to go. No. Are you serious? We're not ready for that kind of mission. What? Running from the enemy won't bring this war to an end. We need to confront King Garen directly, and I believe that a swift counterattack would be the last thing he expects now. What do you think, Corin? Let's go. Uh, I think you're right. Moving forward quickly with a small force could actually work. Ugh. I don't know. Hey, Scarlet, if you're not on board with this plan, please don't feel obligated to join. I understand that it uh, must be hard to leave your troops here to fend for themselves. Hmm. No, I'll go with you. The resistance here is strong. We may be outnumbered, but we'll, we'll win the day. I can see the conviction in your eyes. Let's do this. Here we go. Excellent. Now that we're in agreement, we should get moving. The sooner we make our move, the greater our advantage. All right, let's go. Mr. Birthright leading the charge. Oh. All righty. We're just kind of chilling and walking. I see how it is, Ryoma. Um... What's up? Uh, so this path leads all the way to Nor. Are you sure we'll be safe? Uh, we should be. Then again, I thought that our safe house was actually safe. We built the path for this exact purpose, but I had no idea we'd use it this soon. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, Scarlet. Our arrival has certainly set things in motion. Not a problem. It's all right. Maybe it's just the spark we needed to finally make a move. So please, wipe that sad look off your face. We're gonna kick some butt. All right, let's do it. <laughs> just slap some. Whoa. Thanks. I guess I needed that. Look at Corn. He's like, no. He's, he's like, there's that pose. Looks so stupid. It looks like he's squatting on the toilet or something. Um, if we're going to invade Nor all by ourselves, I better be confident. Uh, we're close, everyone. Time to get serious. And Corn, get off the toilet. It's stupid. <laughs> Ooh, art. Okay. I already know what's happening here, but this is um. I forgot we actually got some art of this. Looks kind of cool. There's Nor. Well, that's a formidable wall, and there's no shortage of troops. Everyone, please listen up. Once we cross the border, there's no turning back. If anyone wants to retreat, now's your chance. You will not be judged. No need to worry. I'll follow you to the end of the world, Corin. You have my support. I'm coming with you. And leave you here to take on these jerks by your all by yourself? Forget about it. I'll bend my bow to your will, Corin. Thanks, Tonka Me. Uh, I wouldn't think of staying behind after all you've done for us. <laughs> I'm pleased to see you taking on the role of a leader, Corin. You're coming. Uh, you're becoming the worthy of the sword that has chosen you. Naturally, I will not be turning back. Uh, you know this already, but you have my support as well, Corin. Everyone. Thank you, everyone. Your support means the world to me. Now, let's go. Let's head into Nor and show King Garen we mean business. All right, let's do it. Oh, okay. Immediately, I'm um, sending the chapter. Oh, wow. We get a lot of units. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's take a look at the chapter real fast. Yeah, this is uh, definitely when things start kicking up a little bit. We got two units that we actually get in um, Conquest right here, Benny and Charlotte. They're not super strong, like, at all. Um, look at their levels. Yeah, they're pretty bad. Then I think there should be, yep, this weird Dan, Daniela. I think it's Daniela. Um, do you have a voice? Um, yeah. I'm pretty sure this is a Nor only, or sorry, not, I'm pretty sure this is a uh, Birthright only boss. So I, I feel like I can capture this unit if I wanted to with Orochi, but I'm not bringing Orochi, so 
I don't really care. Um, I don't really care about capturing um, sp uh, special NPCs, but it, uh, that's a thing you can do. You can capture that unit if I wanted to. Um, actually, I think I will bring Orochi and see if I can capture, just for, like, randomness. Um, we'll see what happens. I, I guess... I don't, I don't want Saizo to sit out, but he is kind of under-leveled compared to everybody else. I mean, Orochi is too, but she's got the capture, so it just might be nice to capture. So let me start pairing up some units, and honestly, it's going to be a mostly Ryoma chapter. I know I am going to pair up these two, because this pair up is so good. Alrighty, I think I'm good. There's a lot of units on this field. I think we're ready to go. I, I will say I'm a little nervous, but um, I don't think this one's too hard, again, because we do have Ryoma. And honestly, I can't wait to get him out on this battlefield. Here we go. Okay, I think we have- is it a new battle theme? I can't really tell at the moment. Um, but yeah, let's just see if we can watch out for you, and then see if Ryoma can, like, just kind of go crazy at the moment. I'm gonna see if I can maybe promote Korn in this chapter too, because he's getting really, really close to promotion, so... I'll move him, like, over here, maybe. Um, I'm kind of gonna sit in the corner, because I feel like a lot of these Cavaliers kind of rush down really fast in this chapter, and that's a little scary, because, um... I don't want to get, like, bombarded by thousands of, um, kiddos right at the very start. So, I'm not gonna have that happen, um, considering how many freaking guys are up here. And I, I swear they all, like, come and swarm down over here. I could be wrong, um, but I'm doing this off of memory from, like, I don't know, when's the last time I played Birthday? Um, like, um, Vanilla, again, uh, was, like, my first time, like, five years ago. Um, but, like, the last time I played Birthright actually was probably two years ago, I think? So, yeah, I'm doing this off of two years ago, I guess. So, let's see. Corn. Obviously, he's going crazy, and he has nothing to worry about because he is Corrin. Guess I did it right. Indeed you did, buddy. Okay, yeah, you're kind of uh, sucking away that EXP. I'll see if I can have him... Oh, well, okay. I was just about to say, I'll see if I can have him target the uh, promoted units, but you know what? I guess the promoted units are going to be targeting him instead. My goodness, Corrin, you aren't getting hit by any other people, right? Oh, yep, here they come. Yep. Okay, not as, not as much as I thought, but I'm pretty sure they come down a lot faster than I think they do. So, um, you have the javelin, obviously. So, let's see, Takami... Um, how about, uh, no, let's not do that. Actually, no, let's do, let's do Takami. Let's do Takami, um, because I feel like Korn will be able to kill this guy as, after I heal him with, like, Felicia or something. Boom, there we go. That's a solid hit. Also, Hinoka's only doing one damage? Really? Wow, that's, um, pretty, oh, it's because Gardening Hunt. I see. Um, how about, can you do, like, a little more chip damage? Uh, I don't like that because the arrow guy. Can I do something about that Mr. Arrowy dude? Maybe, like, Orochi? Um... Okay, can I do 17 damage somehow? Maybe Scarlet King, because he's kind of fat? Um, yeah, let's go. Let's do that. There we go. I rarely ever use Scarlet, and I think I might, because she's kind of cool. Um, oh. Time to show off. Yeah, okay, jeez. My goodness. And even though I don't use Scarlet, I'll use her for a little bit. I might not bring her to, like, the final chapter or something, but I'll use her for a little while, because she's pretty cool. Um, Corrin, you won't die. But I'm hoping that you'll at least um, hit both of these so that I can get you that EXP, preferably. Come on, Corn, you can do it! Yeah, do good, Corn. Yeah, that's Corn, dude. Oh, that's a lot of EXP. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely set in this chapter. Silver, Na uh, Silver Naginata? That's pretty decent. Um, so let's see. Are you guys in range yet? You are not. Let's um, let's do something about that. How we do like just Rioma cheese? Um. <laughs> Yes, he's here, Mr. Birthright. Oh, of course, his first attack, dude. I still remember when he one percent crit Xander at the start of this run, and now he's starting off with another crit. Oh my goodness, that's just how fitting is that? Truly, truly, so fitting. Um, Scarlet, you're not getting hit by anything crazy. Okay, I want to make sure I didn't have any like weird weapons that would one shot me for some reason. Um. And that, yeah, I'm just so excited to have uh, Mr. <laughs> you call him Mr. Birth, right? I'm so excited to have Ryoma here. Not just because he's like super broken, but like, I don't know. Like, whenever you get Ryoma, the game becomes so much more fun. It's just like, it becomes like, oh, here he comes. Mr. He's just gonna crit like crazy. It is just, oh, it's so fun whenever Ryoma comes in. All right, look, we're still gonna kind of st sit back here for a while. Just kind of take a look at what ha what's happening. Um, don't want to overextend right at the very start because I am a little scared of how many units are on this battlefield. And look at that. Look at that. That's freaking. A blue weapon, obviously he's getting hit, but it's like, whatever. But he's just he's so good. That's the hit rate against him. And that's a knight. That's a steel lance. He should be weapon and he should have the weapon disadvantage, but look at him. He's too good. I mean, then again, he is like super over leveled compared to them. But still, it's so good. Like, rarely ever will you see a hit rate against Ryoma like 70% or higher. Like, he's so good. His Avo, look at this dude. Look at this. He's so broke. This man can literally solo this game. Honestly. There are chapters that, like, when I didn't know how to play the game, 
back when I was like, back in 2015, I didn't know how to play the game as well. I would literally solo chat with, with Ryoma because I didn't know how to do it. I was like, I can't figure it out. I'll just grind up Ryoma. And then I just threw Ryoma at him and then it just, it worked. Like, it, near the end game, you obviously can't do that. But like, for the most part, like, honestly, if I really wanted to, I could solo the next, maybe like, 10 chap- no, not 10 chapters. Probably the next 5 chapters, solo Ryoma. That's how good he is. He's so good. Like, as, and what I mean by solo is like, he, he needs like some support, like he need a healer behind him. Stuff like that. But like, for the most part, he would just do it solo. He, he's just so, he's so good, dude. I can't, I can't exaggerate that enough. He is just that good. Um, I am gonna retreat a little bit though because I do want some EXP for the rest of my kiddos. That way I don't, it doesn't go all to Ryoma. Because then again, Ryoma is level 4. He's still, he's level 4 advanced, so he only gets 16 level ups in this path. So I don't want to be like too, I don't want to rely on Ryoma too much, but I do want to use him a lot because <laughs> he's so fun. Okay, here's where I got my all my units kind of set up, ready to go. Now, oh, oh, uh oh. Okay, she's fine. I got, I got worried for a half a second. I saw I saw her doubling, and I was like, wait, 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 that's not the enemy, right? <laughs> We're all good. Thank goodness. There we go. Nice job, Setsuna. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good for you. Got level B, was that? I'm sorry, I wasn't really paying attention. Oh, yep. See, this is this is what I remember. Yeah, they all start coming in. That's why I remember this chapter being... Oh, yep. Yep, this is, what I, this is the turn I was waiting for, where they all just come in. Yeah, so, um, it's like, oh, we gotta take out freaking six guys at once, that's, that's fair, that's cool. Yeah, but we got Ryoma, though, so it's like, there's nothing to worry about. Here we go. Time to just Ryoma cheese. We're all good. Good luck. Good luck. You don't need luck, you're Ryoma. <laughs> Honestly, dude. Honestly, you've breathed. I will not lose. <laughs> it's so funny to see him just cleave through everybody, dude. It's so funny. Alright, let's be careful here. There still are a lot of kiddos here, so Takami... Um, no, let's see, Scarlet, how about Iron Naginata? Yeah, they can't really do anything against Scarlet, so... Yeah, let's do this! Um, and then maybe... Hinoka as well, and then we'll kinda just... Um... Yeah, no problem. Um, and I think we're gonna do Takami... Plus... Corrin Dragonstone, maybe we'll take this one out? And then from there, I think we kinda just set up a little bit of a wall, because, um... There are, these guys have a lot of uh, movement, so we do not want to get like destroyed by them. Um, so yeah, let's see. How about how, how does Silas do against you guys? Um, if I do, yeah, are you not gonna that? It only does take takes ten damage. So that's pretty decent. Um, let's see. Yeah, well, I already I know the range, so um, again, this is this is kind of scary because I want to make sure I don't like instantly die or something. Um, I can't kill you. That is unfortunate, and I do not have a beast killer. Um, let me see here. Can I do... Can I kill you with Kaze? No. No way. Oh my gosh, no way. Um, that's death. I can do this. E do I want to, though? Um, I'll do it right here. And then I'll, ha I'll have to put, like, corn and somebody ahead of you, I think. Because I really don't want you to die, Setsuna. Oh, it's dead. It is dead indeed. Hopefully you're not going to be the one dead after this as well. Um... Feels good. Yeah, I maybe should have backed myself into the corner like I originally thought I should, but I'll hold on to that. I'll hold off on that for a little while longer. Um, then I was gonna do. I put Silas here. Paired up with who though? That's the question. Not Kaze. Rochi can go. Hold on. Yeah. See, this Cavalier is like, he's too annoying. I gotta. Uh, um. I need a good way to take this guy out without using a super strong unit. Maybe Silas? I don't know. Um, what does Corn Dragonstone do? That was 11 damage. What about Oboro? That's much better. If I do like 10 damage here, I'll do this. I'll do 10 damage here. And this also does rally, um, not rally, sorry, seal defense. So yeah, um, this is looking kind of bad. But I feel like we'll make it out. Something tells me we're gonna make it out of this all right. I feel it, I can feel it. So then Arya Naginata, hopefully you don't take, hopefully you don't miss. If you miss, it could be really bad for us. Come on, Silas. That's what I'm talking about, buddy. There we go. Finally. Finally, my goodness. He's like, finally, I got EXP. Why are you not investing me? I'm still level 15, dude. Okay, then, who do I wanna pair you up with, Hinoka? Maybe I'll just like leave you alone? Cause honestly, you're kind of buff. <sighs> but it's just, it's this guy that scares me. It's him with the javelin. I don't know. Um. Then, I think, probably go for the rally? Yeah, we'll go for the rally. Um, let's see. One one person can come down here and attack Felicia. I'm okay with that. 
Felicia can live one attack. I will switch her off, go to Iron Dagger so she can dodge better. Um, this way she also, if they go after Silas, she also um, does two less damage to her, or to him, rather. Um, and let me move Roshi right here. And I'll move Sakura up one so that Oboro takes less damage. And I'll do a Rally Lock to see how it goes. Um, again, this could be a really bad, uh, really bad turn for us. I'm not really sure how it'll go. Takumi is definitely going to get hit by two people. I don't think he'll die, though. But we'll just have to see. Hopefully he'll be alright. Um, maybe I should heal Oboro. I'm actually going to heal Oboro instead of going for the Rally instead. Yeah, this could actually be really bad for us. Um, I felt like the best thing to do was go up in the corner and just kind of make a small wall there. But instead, I think... Oh! That's your hit rate? Really? I forget. Maybe I forgot this was actually birth... Okay, never mind. I forgot that everything in this game always hits. <laughs> He's gonna hit this, right? Come on. Yep. <laughs> every, every enemy hits, dude. That's how you have to play Fates, is every enemy hits. Dude, that's so dumb, dude. I see like 33s and it's just like, come on, what the heck, dude? No hesitation. No hesitation at all. Come on. Get him, Silas. Crit! Crit the 1%! Stupid! Come on, he can do it, Silas! You want me to invest in you or not? <laughs> uh, that's what I was looking for. Okay. Hopefully, no, yeah, the, the um, Paladin cannot touch it. There we go. Those two misses, okay, I'll take that. If you can't, if you wanted to hit Takami and Silas for those two misses, I'll trade that for sure. That was definitely because I had the Flame Shuriken um, taken off, because Flame Shuriken does give her minus 20 Ava, and there's the Ryoma dodges. That's what I'm looking for. Mmm, Fire and Birthright. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I'm Ryoma. I'm too godlike to deal with any of you guys. Oh my goodness, and the best part is, like, even if he gets hit, he has Vantage, so he can just do crazy stuff. And he has a freaking dual guard right now, so it's just, he's so good. Like, you always have to keep Ryoma paired up as well, like, to make sure he has bonuses, make sure he has his, uh, uh, what is it, personal skill, effects on, because that plus 10 crit is super good. And then also the dual guard. I was wondering where his crits were going, I was like, come on, dude, where's your crits? Here we go. There we go, yeah, here we go, it's time for the real Fire Birthright to start. And here you are. Uh, okay, that was a little anticlimactic. I was kind of hoping to go after Ryoma so he would crit you or something, but whatever, that's fine. Uh, we just gotta wait until Ryoma levels up once as well, because then once he levels up one time, oh my goodness, it's gonna be so good. All right, yeah, here comes the rest of these guys. Yep, it's uh, kind of crazy. I believe reinforcements also come from the back, so we can't stay back here too long. I don't, I don't remember for sure or not if they actually do show up. I just, I just, something tells me that like I'm just recollecting that and I could be totally wrong so yeah red is bad we don't want to stand in the red except for like some units like Ryoma so I'll have Ryoma take out this guy because he's Ryoma and I'm not too worried about Ryoma going up against like 17 Cavaliers because you already saw he didn't take a single point of damage and no. <laughs> gotta love Ryoma dude gotta love fire and birthright I will not lose. gosh dude I've missed this I've missed just cleaving through birthright with one Ryoma oh my goodness you can double oh my gosh um, honestly, Scarlet, if you crit this, I'll be really proud of you. Do it. Crit! Crit! Uh, what? You missed a 98? Did you really just miss a 98? She missed a 98. That was, um, that's, um, that's a little disappointing. Scarlet, you want to be on the team or not? Jeez. <laughs> yeah, you had the killer act with 23% crit and you're, even talking to me is getting 11% crit. You can't even hit a 98? I see how it is. I see how it is. I mean, hey, that's basically I just got a five star or an anti five star in Fire Emblem Heroes. How about that? Let's view it that way. If I get bad luck in this, I'll get a good five star in Fire Emblem Heroes or something. Um, all right, Orochi definitely does need her EXP because she's looking kind of low. So let's have her get a couple of kills here. Um, take you out right away. There we go. She's still like level twelve or something, I think. I did use Orochi my first run because she's a, she's like one of the um, better mages because I never really liked Hayato. Um, he's not like a god tier. Also, here we go. Flame Shuriken time. You haven't seen the Flame Shuriken yet. Look at this. It's on fire. She's gonna go crazy with it. Mmm, dead. Hit him again. There we go. Just so good. Look at that thing. It's on fire. It's literally flaming. It's so good. I love the Flame Shuriken, dude. It's so freaking good. Okay. Um, can I get Takami? No, I'm gonna Korn to take you out because... Uh, Korn, why? <laughs> Why can't you take him out, dude? You're supposed to be freaking Corrin, dude. You're supposed to take him out. That's your job. Whatever. I'll just use Kaze to um, debuff and poison strike. If then you'll be able to die. I know that for sure. Unless Kaze wants to get a low percent crit because he's like so good at those for some reason. Kaze. Uh... Yeah, we'll do this. We'll do this. He got the duo guard, so I'm not worried about him actually taking any damage. Um, so yeah, you'll take eight. And then you'll probably take five or six damage after that. So you'll end up at like eight or seven. 
Okay, took seven damage. Wow. Okay, so yeah, now you're at six. Now Corrin can be like, I'm Corrin. Uh, Dragonstone because that's the highest hit rate. Let's do it because a Corrin. I swear, don't be like Scarlet and miss this. I swear, if you do, it's over. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Sorry. Sorry, I'm Corrin. No, you're not the one who should be apologizing. You killed him. Scarlet's the one who should be apologizing. My goodness. This is my chance. There we go. This is your chance, Corrin. You only need one more level up, and then we are good to use our Master Seal on you. And oh my goodness, once we do, we'll finally have our good old promoted Corrin. But in the meantime, take this heal, Takumi. And you too, Hinoka gave her a healer as well. Sakura's getting really close to um, being able to promote too. Good, uh, goodness. All right, here we go. Fire and birthright time. Here we go. Yep, same thing as always. Get ready for it. <laughs> Come on, Ryoma. Keep critting. Keep dodging. Come on. For the glory of Hoshino. Say it with him, everybody. You fought bravely. Gosh, it's just something about seeing Ryoma just soloing through the game and me not having. I can literally just sit back, hold the A button. I could go get. A, I could go eat lunch, come back, and Ryoma would clear the chapter for me. I swear. <laughs> Even though I'm recording this at 4 a.m., so it, I wouldn't be eating lunch. I'd be eating a, a snack. A, what would you call a, a meal in the middle of the night? I don't know what you call that. There is no like thing for that. It's because my sleep schedule is backwards whenever I record. That's how I have to record. I have to record at night. So it's like, what? How do what? I don't know. A midnight snack is the only thing I can think of. There's no other official name. Oh, you think you can hit him? You think a coin flip will hit Ryoma? Nice try, dude. No, he, he did that to pity you. <laughs> That's how you do it. <laughs> That's how you do it. 27% crit, dude. Uh, don't apologize, Ryoma. You're fine, buddy. You are fine. You're looking amazing out there. Look at that. Only 10 units left. Easy money. Oh, my goodness. We're going to retreat a little bit because I don't want to um, stay in rage with these guys. But besides that, Ryoma, you have nothing to worry about, buddy. Alrighty, waiting right here, down comes all the units, and there we go. All you gotta do is just kind of retreat a bit, now it's just, now we can take him out as much as we want. So let's see, you are obviously, oh you got the Wakizashi, interesting. Um, can I go for anything strong in this? No, I cannot. Um, maybe Orochi? Nope. How about Scarlet? Oh yeah, Scarlet, that's right. We'll give Scarlet a chance to redeem herself, never mind. Um, weapon disadvantage, so just go for, yeah, no, don't do that actually. Um. Go for, yeah, just go for this guy, actually. Just weaken him up a little bit. Chip him down so that Corn can finish him off. Because I want to see if we can, again, promote Corn in this chapter, if we can. Um, there we go. No damage. Dude, I forgot. Scarlet is actually pretty good. Oh, it's also because the meal. We got that um, defense from the meal. I, keep, I completely forgot about that. Um, and even our, our meals aren't even at, like, the best rank they can be yet. Oh, yeah, here we go. Felicia Corn, Flame Shuriken. Oh, it's so good. You already know. The Flame Shuriken coming out here. Boom. Boom, there we go. 10 damage left. I think that's all Corrin actually needed um, to finish you off, if I'm correct. Yes? Yes, indeed. Go, Dragonstone Corrin, dude. I'm surprised I'm actually using the Dragonstone this much. Probably I don't, but you know what? That's fine. No, I did it. I'm Corrin. But, oh, oh, that just... Oh, my goodness. He got so much EXP from that. Okay, well, good job, Corrin. This is your chance. You just got to level 20. Get that Wakizashi out of here. You do not need it, buddy. All right, next turn, I think we're going to promote Corn. Yeah, we're going to. Let's do it. Um, in the meantime, let's... Uh, oh, here we go. Sword Catcher. I knew I was good putting the Sword Catcher on a Peggy Knight. I do it on um, her instead of, like, Oboro or something, because she has the range so that she can, like, fly over someone and kill a Sword Master or something crazy. Um, and then I put, like, the dual on to Oboro, because she doesn't have as much um, movement. I, I say I said range. I meant movement. Um... But yeah, she can, she's better with, like, guard. I mean, she, they both have guard, but she's better with the duel as well. Um, and if there was another guard, I would actually put it on freaking um, Azura, because she's really good with it as well. So let's see. Um, Kagura, I don't want to forget about you. I know you're in the back, but you can actually kill. Nice. That's thanks to the strength that Ryoma gives you paired up. So here we go. Boom, boom. There we go. Success. Success indeed. Dude, this chapter, again, is a really easy chapter because we have Mr. Birthright coming out here. So Setsuna... Yeah, I know you weren't killing, but I wanted to do this actually so that you could um, maybe hand your victory or that EXP over to Orochi, which is going to be kind of good. And then from there, we can just go boop, boop, boop. Yep, you're dead. Rat Spear actually has a pretty good hit rate. And then I want to make sure Orochi gets a few more levels just so we can actually do damage because the boss is a, um, a strategist? A strategist class, I believe. And they're pretty, they have a lot of res. So could you get some magic, please? That's what we're looking for. Very good job, Orochi. Um, what level are you again? 13? Okay, that's not terrible, but you could be higher. I can have Oboro come up here, kill this guy real fast. Hopefully, don't miss Oboro. Don't be like, don't pull a Scarlet on us. And then if she misses, I do have Kaze in the back. So, there we go. 
Um, and now there should hardly be any units left, but I feel like there's reinforcements coming soon. I'm not sure. Uh, some, my, my gut is just telling me there's reinforcements. Oh. Well then, geez, I guess I was right. Oh my goodness, that was pretty good timing. But now, you know what time it is? It is time to put on this and then go into the convoy, get rid of our practice katana and snag ourselves a, where is it? A master skill. So now, now that we're level 20, it's time for Corrin to promote. Let's do it! Corrin becomes Hoshino Noble! Here we go. It's about time, Corn. There you go, buddy. It's time to get your freaking promotion. There we go. There we go. Sorry, I didn't want to say anything because I wanted to show you off just kind of what the promotion looks like in this game. I didn't want to say a word because I've always thought the promotion looked super sick and I always love it, so... It's so cool. It's 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 super cool. There we go. Corn, and he gets the ability to use stabs too. So now I can give him the bloom festival, and he can heal people. So that's really cool. Yep. Hoshido Noble. What is it called again? A scion of Hoshido Royal. So he uses katana rods and dragon stones. Pretty cool, I must say. So there we go. There's our first promoted unit. Finally, it took a long time, but now that we have Corn finally promoted, we can finally uh, or finally start promoting some of our other units as well. That being Kai Sakura coming up next because she is pretty close. And then maybe like Takami because he's close as well. All right, I moved everybody up here once again. And okay, yeah, there's nothing here. So now we just kind of have to slowly, I guess, take these guys out. What is this, by the way? Trigger a land set of damage all in. Really? That's kind of crazy. Um, Let me see here. Is this guy Bolt Axe? Um, You are no threat. <laughs> he has zero magic using a Bolt Axe. What are you? You're the dumbest person. No, hold on. I have to. I have to for the memes. I can't not do it, dude. I have to do this. <laughs> He's gonna come down, hit Ryoma, do absolutely nothing to him, dude. Absolutely nothing. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be so funny. Please, please come down. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Axe users versus sword users in a nutshell. Please crit. Thank you. Thank you, Ryoma. Go. Something about that is so funny to me. Because, like, Axe users are always memed on for being so freaking bad against sword users. And that right there, oh, it just, it shows it in a nutshell. Oh my goodness. Let's be careful of the archers, though. They can still do some damage to Scarlet, so I want to be a little careful. But I don't have to be too careful because they can't even reach. Let's go kill this freaking guy, dude. Scarlet is so powerful. Oh my goodness. I mean, again, she is promoted, but still. I've never really used Scarlet that much, but now... I think I get it. I think I get why so many people use her all the time. And then Takami. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, it's just so good. Goodness. We are doing so good in this chapter, dude. Once again, Birthright in like its middle is the easiest in my opinion because all your units are so strong and like the difficulty spike hasn't hit yet. So it's just like you're just cheesing through so many chapters, dude. All right, let's see. Corin, do you have a special conversation with old Benny here? Uh, nothing personal. I'll make it quick. All right, I guess not. See ya, Benny. Come on, corn promoted. Let's do it, corn. Mm, nice one, corn. You're so cool. I, I want to be just like corn when I grow up. Here, we'll toss him a heal as well. Uh, maybe we'll take out. We'll take out Benny with Kagero, maybe. Oh, we can take him out with Silas, actually. Um, actually, never mind. Let's not do that. Um, because there are some freaking archers. Oh, we don't even need the sting shuriken. This is just how powerful Kagero is. I mean, then again, Benny is also kind of weak. See ya, Benny. Sorry, buddy. You did indeed. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. I did my best. That's all I can say. Yep. I'm sorry, Benny, that it had to be this way. Benny's a cool guy. I don't, I don't have any gripes toward Benny. Good enough. I mean, hey, you're getting speed. That's fine by me. That is good enough. All right, Beast Killer. Um, Let's put Azura right here. And then it's time for, I believe, Charlotte. Is she not stationary compared to Benny? It seemed like she wasn't. Um... Is she not? Oh my gosh, dude. I almost wanted to use Ryoma again to just meme on her, but whatever, it's fine. Let's go with this. This is fine. Anything to say, Charlotte? Ugh, I have better things to do. Why'd you have to invade today? I'm so ready for this. <laughs> I'm so ready to murder. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Charlotte is so weird, dude. She's one of my least favorite characters in this game. Seriously, indeed. You're such a pain. What do you mean you're such a pain? Are you saying that because you're dead? Whatever, I don't care about you, Charlotte. Shut up. Okay, um, now let's see. Who do I want to guard with? Um, maybe Silas, actually. 
Why is Silas? What? Oh, it's the Iron Katana. Oh, I'll just okay. I'll just do Iron Naginata here then. And well, that's bad because then, eh, I don't know. Well, I mean, Corn's the only one in range, and he's using the sword, so I don't think we're actually in trouble at all. Yeah, okay. I won't put anybody um in the spot. Corn's fine. Let's see how it goes. And yeah, that's about what I expected. <laughs> that's about what I expected. Come on, Corn. That's what I'm talking about, buddy. Dodge. Oh, look at the swirl, dude. Do you see him? Do you see that? That guy's Corrin. Do you know that? I know that guy. I know him. Um, in case you didn't know, that's Corrin. Um, he's the protagonist from Fire and Fates. Um, he is also the protagonist of Fire and Fates Birthright and Conquest and Revelation. Um, he's also got a sword. You can see his sword um, on him right now. He's holding it. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know what it is. I love being stupid like that. Dude. I love saying like completely obvious things and act as if I'm like smart. Something about that I find humorous, but maybe no one else does. Probably just a me thing. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Um, obviously, I want to try and give some more EXP to my lower level units, so maybe try and go for like Setsuna. Maybe. Okay, Flame Shrink doesn't work on you. Um, how about Hinoka? Hinoka is honestly like, I keep under, under use a lot, under utilizing Hinoka. I don't use her as often as I should, but you know what? She is pretty good. So come on, Hinoka, do something crazy. No? Alright, there we go. Corn. You do indeed, and you just did. Good job, Hinoka. Get some strength, come on. That's what? right. Strength and speed, just like our meal time, or at least what it should have been if it weren't for freaking Rinka messing up the meal. That's whatever. All right. Um, you, no. One, two, three, four, five, right? Yeah, you can only move five. So that's unfortunate. Um, Yeah, I can't hit... I, I don't want to... Well, it's only a default archer with 21 strength. There's no way you're going to die from it. Plus, I can just sing. Yeah, I go for Killer Axe. It's fine. Come on, Scarlet. You can do it. You can do it, Scarlet. Crit. Come on. Sorry. I want to see you crit. <laughs> I want more crits. It's freaking birthright. Let me crit. All right. Corn. Yep. One shot. I'm Corn. I can one shot things now because I'm promoted. Oh. Jeez, Corn. You don't have to overkill. He's already dead. My goodness. Leave the poor guy alone. <laughs> you did, dude. You did a little too right. Okay, now we kind of throw up Ryoma in here, and then we have nothing to worry about. Why is Corn at... Why did, okay, I guess whatever. That's fine. Doesn't matter how what health you're at. Um, Let me see if I can also sing to Hinoka, and then I think with Sakura, I'm going to step on that little spot to trigger a landslide to hurt all enemies, because I don't really know what it does. I don't really remember using it. Does it kill them all? Does it, it doesn't put them all down to um, zero, does it? Or sorry, one? I think it only does like 10% damage or something. Uh, Maybe? How much damage? Uh, 10 damage. Okay, that's a little, that's still pretty good. I mean, none of these units are too, oh, wait, hold on. Wait, you know what? Never mind. There's heroes, generals. Okay, yeah, that was, that was definitely useful. Now it's just time to get everybody inside the fort, so come on. Here we go. You're going after corn, dude. You don't even know that corn's been promoted. Dodge, corn. Corn, hold on, corn. You're looking kind of low, buddy. Um, I'm actually a little bit concerned now that he actually got hit by that corn. Okay, thank goodness. We're fine. Oh, we're fine. Look at this, dude! Look at just the battle forecast! That's a meme! That's just a meme, dude! 2 damage, 10% hit, versus Ryoma's like 5 million. It's just... It's a joke, dude! It's a freaking joke! Can you dodge, Corrin, please? Really, you just got promoted, dude. I'm trying to show you off, and you're like, No, I'm Corrin! I can't dodge anything for the life of me! Oh, but I am Corrin, if, if you were wondering! Here, catch this heal, stupid. I didn't even say thank you? Oh my gosh, what the heck, Corrin? My goodness, Corrin is having an off day today. <laughs> okay, whatever. Maybe he's not used to the class. Um, let's see, what should I do now? I'll bring up Scarlet again. Come on, Scarlet. Corrin's having an off day, but show him, show him how it's done. Please, come on. Crit! Oh my gosh! <sighs> I'll have Ryoma show you how it's done. Alright, Ryoma, come on. You won't fail me, you're Ryoma. Come on. Ryoma! Crit! 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 crit. Crit! Ryoma? Jeez. No crits, I guess. Um, well, I guess we're just gonna play this very standard. If you guys wanna play boring and standard, fine. I get it. I get it. I just wanted some fun crits for the content. You do it for the content! <laughs> do it for the content, Ryoma! Obori, you can take this fat knight out. Get him the heck out of here. I'll start investing in Obori a little bit more, because you're still like level 16, right? I think she's level 16 right now. I could be wrong about that. Okay, that's everybody. Now, enemy face time. Here comes the general. Oh, don't even try. Don't even try. Ryoma's gonna dodge. Oh, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Oh, there's the crit. Okay, it just took a while. 
It just took him a while to realize what he had to do. We're done here. Oh, look at him. Even his clothes are like burnt off. That's because he got hit for a lot of damage. Look at that. You thought you could kill Ryoma? No, dude. Watch him. Vantage crit. Vantage crit. Vantage crit. Oh, okay. Well, I guess the dual guard saved him. Whatever. We need skill when you're Ryoma. Ryoma! Ryoma! You're making me look bad! <laughs> I said you're the soloing the person who can solo birth, right? Come on. Please. Just crit. Scarlet, crit. Somebody crit, please. I do it for the content. There it is. She's doing it for the content. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, Scarlet. <sighs> Took you long enough. There we go. And there, you even got some good EXP from that, too. All right, Ryoma, get, you catch this heal right now, buddy. I don't know what the heck that terrible performance was. You didn't vantage and crit. That's your job, Ryoma. You're supposed to, you see a 20% crit. That's just death. That's Ryoma, just instant death. Okay, that's fine. Maybe, it's again, maybe he's a little bit rusty. He has been, um, you know, sitting around for a while, stuck in sheave the whole time. So, you know what? It's okay, Ryoma. It's fine. So let's use the dual guard, kind of be safe a little bit. I'll put Sakura over there so that um, Oboro gets her um, plus or minus two attack from these knights. And then from there, not really sure. Takami, you can make it rain down all this landslide or whatever. Go once again. Yahoo! Rubble time! This is. Uh, does that. That was 30 damage to all foes. That's actually really good. And there's no healers either? And that person, the person, the boss isn't even on the throne? Yeah, they're just on the floor. What the frick? Okay, I can just kill with Orochi. I don't even have to try for the rest of this chapter. Everyone's pretty much dead. That's good because now I can kind of just clean up with my weaker units, which is really, really good. I mean, obviously, if Oro can't kill, but she's going to seal defense both these guys. So even if I wanted to, next turn, I could just kill. Gosh, Oboro's such a good unit. She's kind of like a slow, slow but steady killer. But like, she is good. Like, obviously, she's just well balanced. She does good damage, has high enough speed to not get doubled, and like, double a good amount of the um, units. Like, obviously, she does get doubled by, like, sword masters and stuff, but she's got weapon advantage, so it doesn't matter. So here we go. I think I can actually get a double kill for Orochi here. Yeah, I can. This is going to be so much EXP for her, which is really good. So, I don't, again, I don't even know if I'm going to use Orochi. Um, and honestly, I don't I don't know how many more units we have. I know I'm not going to use any of the child units. Like, I'll, I'll do some of their paralogs, as I said in the description, and at the start of this um, whole marathon of Fire and Fates. But I just don't really care about them that much, so I'll, I mean, obviously there's the DLC with the children, so I'll use them then. But like in the story, I'll use them maybe like here and there, but, or maybe as the paralogs or side chapters. But like honestly, I don't really care about the children units. I think they're extremely boring. Um, even in Awakening, I've still, I, I mean, I never use like any of the child units. Like besides like with the DLC, I use them in the DLC. I didn't play like the Awakening DLC. I just played them in like um, gold farming DLC or whatever. Um, Wait, I, I've never had, I never got all of the Awakening DLC. I think, actually, the only, well, there's only four games of DLC, right? There's Awakening, Fates, Echoes, Three Houses. So the only two games I've got all the DLC in, surprisingly, has been Fates and, um, freaking, um, Three Houses, because I actually didn't get all the DLC in e Echoes. I mean, I'm going to eventually, but I just never bothered with it because it was, like, so expensive. Like, all of Vates DLC, I think, totaled to, like, $30 or something. Echoes was, like, 50 something It's more than the actual game itself. It's like, what? That's a little too much. Like, come on. I love Echoes to death, but, geez, that is a little too much money just for DLC. Like, come on, dude. And there was, obviously, like, some good story DLC that I never got to uh, look at because I haven't played it yet, obviously. Um, but it's just like, geez, why is it 50 bucks, dude? Even Three Houses. Three Houses was, like, 25 and that was for four waves of DLC. But, no. Freaking gosh, it made it so expensive. That's like the biggest flaw of Echoes. This DLC is so expensive. And then Awakenings, I'm not really sure. I think that was also like $30 or something. The entire thing, I'm not really sure. Awakening, I had the least DLC on. I think I only had. Too close. I think I only had um the gold and the EXP DLC. I think that was the only two ones I bought. Okay, good job, Starless. Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I think that was the only two ones I bought. Then um, can I do a duel? There we go, that's another coin. That's why I put the duel on Abora, not um, Hinoka. Here we go. Boom! Good job. Indeed. And there we go, good EXP there too. Um, I gotta give the other kill to Takami, I think. Aboro, what are you doing? Come on! <laughs> I think that's like the third time you got like a pretty meh level up. Okay, where's Takami? Can he um, start coming up over here? Azura, can you reach him? You can? Awesome, all right, I'm gonna give this kill to Takami. Hey, wait, can he reach? He can reach, can he hit? Uh... He won't get doubled, so it's fine. Yeah, go for it, Takami. Even if you do get hit, it's fine, because I know you won't get doubled. It is a hero, though, so they do have some pretty decent crit. But you know what? It's Takami, and he's not going to pull a freaking uh, Scarlet on us. There we go. Good job, Takami. Level 18. 
<laughs> You're the strong one in your family? You know what, Takumi? You're right. You are the strong one in your family. I mean, obviously, I will say, um, if I were to put a tier list, I'd say Takumi is probably, like, under Korin and, um, freaking Ryoma, but he's definitely better than Hinoka and Sakura, for sure. Like, he's both, he, I like, out of the, all the royals, um, I think, in, in terms of usefulness in Birthright, I would say, I would say Ryoma is, like, S plus tier, um, Azura is, like, S tier because of her sing ability, mostly. Um, her stats are probably, like, A, because she's not, she's really frail, so she kind of is, like, a glass cannon. Um, but, like, Ryoma is definitely the most useful. Then it's, um, freaking Korin. So, yeah, it probably goes Ryoma, Azura, Korin, then, um, might, maybe Korin and Azura are interchangeable, I don't know. But, yeah, Ryoma, Korin, or Ryoma... Azura, Korin, Takami, Hinoka, Sakura is probably the usefulness tier list of all the Royals, in my opinion. Some people may think differently, but in my opinion, that's the tier list for all of them. Um, I've always wanted to make tier lists of, like, Fire Emblem things. I think I've mentioned this before a lot, but I'll, I'll say it again, just um, to wrap it up the chapter here. Um, I have, like, this obsession of wanting to make so many tier lists of Fire Emblem, being two separate tier lists for each game, that being um, how good a unit is, and also how good um the characters are like how, how good um are almost like three i want to say like i'd want to make a tier list of the characters for how good the characters are in terms of combat secondly i'd want to make a video about how, uh, how good the characters are in terms of um um how much i enjoy them then third off i would want to make a final one where i do it how much i think they're actually like how well i think they're written um but the thing is only one of those i would actually be competent in i feel like because i don't think i'm a competent person enough to actually like um what is it like to analyze games like i, I watch a lot of fire Emblem youtubers and don't you dare get this crit i swear if you get this weird low <laughs> if you're gonna get that weird low percent crit i was gonna scream um because honestly faith could totally have given it to ryoma um, or given it to that freaking guy also here we go get the skill huh. This will do for now. Yes, indeed. Get the freaking Ostra. Oh my goodness. He even gets Ostra. And what's so funny about Ostra is each hit, uh, each hit of Ostra counts toward a dual guard. So if you proc Ostra, it's an instant dual guard. It's so freaking good, dude. Okay, so two units left. Let's see if we can go all the way down here with good old Kagero. Take you the heck out of here. Um, but yeah, I, I was, as I was saying, I watch a lot of Fire Emblem YouTubers. And like a lot of them, for the longest time, I thought I understood Fire Emblem like a lot. And obviously, I still think I do, to, like a degree. But like, when it comes to like what units are actually useful versus who are not, a lot of the times I am actually pretty bad at that, apparently. Like, I've always thought I could like analyze units pretty well, but for the most part, I guess I don't, because um, a lot of my opinions never really lined up with theirs for like half the cast, and I was like, oh, it's like, oh, this character sucks? No, I had really good results with this character. I mean, but then again, it could also just be their experience, but like, I don't know, I feel very self-conscious about um, making stuff like that, because I'm always worried about um, people getting mad about, like, oh, this character's actually really good, and you just don't, you just suck at Fire Emblem, and it's just like, ah, but, ah, <laughs> whatever. Alright, let's see what I can do here, um, I don't want to get critted, so maybe, can I put Sakura over here to rally luck, just in case? There we go, that should get that crit rate down, just in case. I'll capture this person, and then I can finally show off what captures do, so here we go. Daniela, uh, how sad for you to make it all the way here, only to be butchered by me. Shut up, Daniela, get into this freaking prison forever! Yeah, 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 kill you with the ox. No! no! <laughs> there we go. Impossible! Yep, we snagged it. I did use capture, right? I did? I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, I did. Um, because what's interesting about capture is when you use it, you don't actually get, um, any bonuses from anything, really. Like, Kaze was sitting next to Orochi, but you didn't actually, um, he didn't actually attack with her because she was going for the capture. That's what's interesting about capture. <coughs> There we go. Uh, we made it. Did that really just happen? Yes. Yes, Korn. We won this battle. But remember, we're in the Norian territory now. We've got a long way to go. I know, uh, but... Can't, <laughs> can't I just be happy for a minute? <laughs> of course. Uh, but time is of the uh, of the essence. Garen will hear about this soon. It won't be long before more Norian tropes are on our trail. True. Uh, he's right. We've got to find some place to rest. It'll be dark soon. There's, uh, there's cover in a forest nearby. What do you think, Ryoma? Here we go! Uh, I think that's a good idea. Let's move toward the forest. Here we go! <laughs> I've been studying maps of the area in preparation for this scenario. Uh, follow me. Oops, I did it too early. Follow me. Oh. Hello? Corin out for a nightly stroll? Want some fresh air and the chilly <sighs> night of air? Ugh, I can't get any sleep. If only I could shut off my brain for a few hours. I feel that, dude. What's that? Dude, Corin is so relatable! <laughs> Uh, Zura's not looking too good once Azura? again. Uh, it's Azura. I wonder what she's doing up at this hour. 
I hope everything's okay. It almost seemed like she was going to faint back in Nestra. Well, there's only one way to find out. Um, is this what I think it is? Uh, Zura, where'd you go? Oh, oh, where'd she go? I can hear her voice. It sounds like she's singing that song again. Nice song. Oh. Very nice song indeed, Azura. Um, oh. ah, there she is. It seems a bit cold for a swim. Uh, oh, Corin. Oh. Azura, what are you doing out here? Couldn't sleep? <sighs> Were you following me? Um, uh, I suppose I was. I just heard your voice, and I wanted to ask you something. Huh? Yes. What is it? Well, well, it's about the song you were singing just now. <sighs> I see. Uh, what can you tell me about it? It seems uh, it seems to have a different effect on everyone. For example, when you sang to Takumi, it seemed to break the spell he was under. But when you all, when you sang to the Norian soldiers, it was almost like they were in a trance. And Azana knew of some of the words, even though he'd never heard it sung before. How is that possible? That's, um, um... I'm sorry, but I'd rather not talk about it. Huh? Really? Azura, it's me. You can tell me anything. Go on. Um, you should try and get some sleep. We're going, uh, we're going to be up early tomorrow. Oh, giving him the cold shoulder? A cold Azura. shoulder? Please don't change the subject. You won't, uh, you won't talk about the song, and I feel as though I hardly know anything about you. That does, uh, doesn't that make you lonely? You know that we're all friends. We're all here for you. I'm sorry. Corin, it's not that simple. <sighs> oh. Azura? Azura, what's wrong? How can I help? Ah! Uh-oh. <sighs> no, Azura! Oh, gotta feel bad for both of them. Uh-oh. <sighs> Gasps in pain. <sighs> Uh, shadow stuff? Ew. Azura, you're gonna reveal our location. Uh. Don't look at me. I apologize. Jeez, I forgot how uncomfortable that cutscene is to watch. No. What's happening to you? You doing okay? <sighs> I'm okay now. I'm sorry to have worried you. No. Please, don't apologize. I'll go get someone. Can Sakura help? <sighs> I'm afraid not. What you've seen is the result of a curse. Truly. Like you, I carry special blood in my veins. But this comes at a price. I can sing for fun, or even help someone in battle, and I'll be okay. But when I sing that song, in combination with my pendant, I'll be, I'm, I'm able to generate a special kind of power. It can't be. Uh, the power to exercise demons? Uh. Something like that. But in exchange, every time I use the power, I suffer. It doesn't always happen right away, but it always happens. What was that? Why didn't you tell us before? You've been needlessly suffering this whole time! No. No, the suffering is temporary, and I always recover. <sighs> But listen. Uh, but nothing. Each time I have sung that song, it was requ uh, required, and it will be required again in the, in the near future. We will eventually need the song's power to defeat King Garen. <sighs> I see. No need to worry. Uh, please don't worry. Although it is excruciating, the pain always subsides. I if my song can help us end the war, I'll sing it as many times as necessary. Understood. Okay, but you must promise that you won't ever put yourself in danger. I don't know how, how you can willingly infect such suffering upon yourself. Trust me. I promise. If everyone, if only everyone were as kind-hearted as you, we'd have no war at all, Corin. Azura. Thank you, Azura. My apologies. I'm sorry for not telling you about this before, but I didn't want you to worry. Remember, you mustn't hesitate to have me use the song if it becomes necessary. Oh boy, that's uh quite a burden, I guess. I don't know, dude. That cutscene always made me very uncomfortable because I never like looking at people in pain. Like, I could never be a doctor, dude. I, I faint at the sight of blood. I am a coward. I could never be a doctor, dude. Like, even just talking about, like, blood and stuff makes my makes me, like, weak. Like, you know how, like, you try to make a fist sometimes when you first wake up and you can't do it? That It gets, like, it gets me that weak feeling, like, I can't do it. Like, I can't make a fist whenever I hear people talk about, like, the insides of your body and stuff. And, like, the same thing, looking at people in pain, it's, oh, it's, like... Like, physical pain. Like, mental pain is, like, I don't know. I guess it's just, like, weird. But, like, whenever I see people, like, literally, like, seething in agony, it just, like, 
Ugh, I, I get like nauseous sometimes. All right, here we go. So, um, yeah, whenever we got prisoners at the bottom, you can already see, you can try um, to persuade or join and bribe. They usually want like stuff. So like, yeah, Lapis and Amber, we don't have it, so we can't give it to her. Um, but what we can do is over time, if you persuade over and over and over again, slowly they'll eventually join you. So here we go. We're just going to persuade Daniela. Have Sabaki try and persuade the prisoner for you? Uh, yes, do it. Uh, very well. If there are uh, pro prospective allies here, I'll find them. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Go get them, Subagi. Come on. Let's get started. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Yes. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, not yet. This may take a while. Yeah. So when it comes to like um, boss type characters, they're um, definitely gonna take a while to join us. Um, they don't have any sp uh, support conversations or anything like that. They're just kind of neat to have. But speaking of supports, let's see what we can do here. Corrin and Obora. Oh, that's an S support. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll get into S support some other day. Not anytime soon. Well, maybe a little soon. Um, I don't know. We are starting again. We're kind of in like the mid area. So we'll wait a few more chats before we do anything like that. So Silas and Felicia, here we go. Um, careful. Steady now. No. Uh, practicing your poise, Felicia? Those poor innocent teacups. <laughs> ah, Master Silas. My apologies. I didn't mean for you to see that shameful display. I, I shouldn't make fun. You try so hard every day, and I respect that. You came here just to say that? How very kind of you. Well, no. Oh. <laughs> it's the opposite, actually. There are some uh, worrying rumors going around in the ranks. Hmm? I haven't heard anything. But you've, no uh, but you've noticed. I assume that Korn has been feeling poorly. Now that you mention it, he has seemed a bit distant. Yeah, he wasn't critting, what the heck, and he couldn't dodge. Uh, as rumor has it, and it pains me to say this, People are wondering if you might be responsible for his diminished state. What? You've spilled tea on Corrin, burnt his food, torn his laundry. The prevailing option is that all these gaves are taking their toll on Corrin. No, but I would never. I'm not saying that I agree with them. I just thought that you should be apprised uh, of what people are saying. Huh, that makes sense. Thanks for letting me know. Oh, poor Felicia. Now she's sad. Okay, Kagero and Ryoma. Here we go. Ryoma talking. Kagro, may I have a moment of your time? Of course, Lord Ryoma. Do you have a uh, do you have a mission for me? The opposite, in fact. I want to express to you, uh, to you my gratitude for all of your hard work. Is there anything you'd like as a sign of my appreciation? My lord, you're much too kind. I couldn't possibly ask anything of you. It's no trouble at all, Kagro. Really, is there anything you need? I'm grateful, uh, my lord, more than I can say. I never imagined myself in this situation. It really is a difficult question. Hmm. I didn't think it would be this challenging. Perhaps a special meal, or some new armor or weapons. I apologize, my lord. I live so much of my life without luxuries. The idea of having them, and especially of getting them without cost, it's foreign. Also, I do not feel I've done anything to require so much generosity from you. Knowing that you appreciate my efforts is enough. Hmm. <laughs> Yet, I do not feel like I have done enough to thank you. Very well. Kagero, I order you to come up with something you would like to receive. Excuse me, <laughs> Excuse me, my lord? Uh, and, you and you best think of something soon. I'll be asking you about this every time I see you until you have decided. I... the stress of this is giving me a headache. I have every confidence that you'll think of something. Good luck. <laughs> Wait, Lord Ryoma... He's gone. What a, What am I gonna do? <laughs> yeah, dude. Ryoma's so nice that he orders you to become um, better or uh, something. I don't know. Are you Orochi Oboro? I do not remember this conversation. <sighs> Oboro, what's gotten into you? Yikes! Make some noise next time I know you're- uh, so I know you're coming, Orochi. Sorry to startle you, but I wasn't really skulking around. You must have been pretty distracted not to notice me. Oh, I guess I was. <sighs> What's the up- uh, where's the upbeat re or borrow I remember? Do you need someone to tell your troubles to? Eh, you just laugh. Preposterous! I never laughed at someone going through hard times. Well, I don't know. Seriously, don't- uh, don't worry about it. Tell me what's on your mind. Alright, here goes. I was passing by the weapon shop in town and saw a heavy, uh, a set of heavy black armor. So, uh, seeing it reminded me of Nora, which made me grimace. Grimace? Is that what you call the horrible demon face you make? Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> and then this little kid, uh, little kid not far off, saw me, uh, saw me and burst into tears. Just thinking about it makes me sad. You should have seen his face. <laughs> that's priceless. Hey, you promised you wouldn't laugh. I know I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> Oh, don't get so upset. I get a kick out, out of that face you make. It's very you. Ugh, I hate it. It terrifies people. It's like a bad habit I just can't kick. Hm, you know, maybe there is something I can do to help. There is? Like what? Yeah, I know just what to do. Consider it, uh, consider it my apology for laughing at you. 
I think I'll take you up on that. <laughs> Leave it to me. Okay, we'll see what they can do about her spooky face. Alrighty then, so there we go, that's all our supports, and there is our first chapter with old Ryoma. Can't wait to can't wait for you to uh, see more of what he can, what he's capable of in this freaking game. So I guess I'll see you on the next episode. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.